Lord, now our chief executive, our Sinclair. Hey. Hey. <laughs> um, morning. Didn't expect to be standing out here this morning. But, um, <laughs> Um, I didn't expect to be standing out here this morning, but I'm glad to be here. Um, about 200 years ago, there were two battleships, English battleships. About 200 years ago, there were two English battleships heading towards land. And one captain thought, when you do that, you turn right. And the other captain thought, when you do that, you turn left. And both were so stubborn that they ran into each other and 300 lives were lost. I thought about that the past month. I thought about a lot of things the past month. And, you know, it's sad we're here. I take a responsibility for that. I would never have wanted it. Um, but actually, I am delighted that yesterday Unite and ourselves agreed that if we didn't move, we'd end up banging into each other. And the only people who would have lost would have been our clients and yourselves and ourselves. So I'm glad that we did that. Uh, we averted a further strike. I know you still have to vote on that. I respect that. And, and my board will have a say, but we've averted it. And now... Um, at St. Mungo's Broadway, we have to find a way forward. And part of that is we're not St. Mungo's and we're not Broadway. We are St. Mungo's Broadway. And we have the opportunity and are creating a charity that could be really, really special. And that's what we want to do. You know, no strike comes without wounds and we need to heal those and we need to be grown up and show a lead in how we do that and I need to do that. Uh, and I believe that we can unite around what we're most passionate about, which is doing the very best we can by each other, making this the most decent organisation to work for and putting our clients at the heart of everything that we do together. The irony on all of this is that we agree with each other. You know, we are being put in an invidious position by the decisions that are being made about our funding. Everyone here knows that. Everyone believes that we need to influence and fight on that. In my role, in my role, <laughs> and I can't say much because of the lobbying act, is all that I know is that society has some choices in how it allocates its money. And actually, the most vulnerable and the homeless should be at the top of that list. I'm going back to work now. You should take a pay cut. You're you're going back to work now. As, as I was going to say, I'm going back to work now. You're going to go back to work now. You are going to have a little moan about my pay for a little bit longer. I will come and talk to you about that in the near future. This is about us as a charity, it's about us working for the charity, and it's about our clients. First and last, it's about the people we work for. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. All right. Take care. Don't deduct our pay.